Hello. Just saw a movie. We're in the car. Car. We saw Paranorman. Paranorman. I was very excited to see this movie. I thought it got uh, really good reviews, and it did. I and, heard. Um, yeah. Now was it DreamWorks? Was it Pixar? I have no idea. Look like claymation. It was really cool looking. I think it was kind of like Coraline esque. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, basically, Norman's just a kid, and he's kind of made fun of a lot and bullied because he can see dead people. Dead people. Six cents. Six cents dead people. Um, so, people make fun of him and bully him. And then the ghost of his uncle comes around and says, there's, gonna, there's a curse, you gotta, you gotta get in there and stop it. And you're the only one who can do it because you can see dead people. The witch's curse. The witch's curse. And then there's a lot of running around. Goes and then these zombies come alive where yeah. he thought the witch was buried. But that but wasn't. But it was the wrong spot. And then I fell asleep. So I'm watching the movie and I hear this kind of heavy, rhythmic breathing. And I look at Trisha and she just sort of smiles. And I look beyond Trisha. I wasn't enthralled. Maria fell asleep for a good portion of the movie. <laughs> um, I felt like I came to it at a, at a, at a, at a pivotal at a moment. At a crucial, yeah. he was he was in talking to the the witch. Yeah, they were battling it um, out. I thought it, I thought it was a pretty cool movie. You know, he has to figure out where she's buried in order to kind of break the curse and uh, read her a story or a bedtime story or something. So were the parts cool that he was searching for her? Yeah, it got. I mean, I'll be honest, it got a little tedious for me. I moved around a lot. Um, I looked around a lot. Were you bored? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Trisha. Why did it get such great reviews? You know what? I think it was. I, I do think it was a good movie. I thought watching it and just the way it was made and the graphics, I thought it was awesome. Um, there's a part at the end where he's talking to the witch or little girl, and it's really crazy. I saw that. It's it's kind that of that part was cool. It's kind of trippy and yeah. weird, and um, mm. I I just think I just thought it was really cool. I love there's a chubby kid. Yeah, chubby Neil. Kid. He's funny. I love Neil. Yeah. Chubby kids Neil, in movies like this are always great. Neil was me. Comic relief. Maria saw dead people, and I was chubby. Yeah, and uh, that's a lie. I was chubby, but I don't think you see dead people. Well, sometimes. No, I don't. They're actually dead, though. I don't. They're actually right. I see them when they're dead in their yeah. casket. Um, so for me, um, I really, I really wanted to. I love this movie. I wanted to love it so hard. I wanted to hug this movie so hard. Like Monster House. I wanted yes. Yeah, because Monster wanted, House, we absolutely. I wanted love. to cuddle this movie really hard. Mm -hmm. Um. I would say, like, I would give it, like, a C plus. The reason I would give it a C plus is because it sort of lost lost my attention. From the time he figures out he has to do this mission to the time he meets the witch, there's a lot going on. There, There's people going... To, it just gets a little too muddled. See, and I slept through all that. Yes. <laughs> she, so I skipped all the muddle. So, you know, they go to the cemetery, and they go to the town hall, and then people leave, and then he, like, goes into, you know, the past, and then he comes back to the town oh, hall, yeah. and then he climbs to the top of the tower. It he just gets... gets mad at everybody. He gets mad at everybody, and tells everybody to leave, and I... It just got a little tedious for me. I loved the individual characters. I loved Norman and his friend and the bully... And um, I, I, I loved them. They were hilarious, and the, and there was there was some funny adult humor in it. Yeah. Um, looking at it, I just I loved looking at it the way I loved looking at Monster House or Coraline. But it just didn't keep my attention during that middle chunk. So I myself would give it a C plus, and I probably will buy it just because there was quite a bit I did like, but. It just got a little tedious. Totes. Now, of the 15 or 20 minutes you saw... I saw good stuff. Saw the beginning. Saw when he was looking for the witch. Then it started to get... Like, when he started going in the past and stuff, I was just like, I'll just rest my eyes for a second. And Rhythmic breathing. was trying to listen to the dialogue, because I was bored. I was bored pretty much toward the beginning. Well, what's your grade? I would give it a D. Would you buy it? No way. No. I was bored. I mean, I was, I was, I was bored. I was bored enough to fall asleep. I never fall asleep I mean, in movies, I've, ever. I've never been in a movie with her where she 100% fell asleep. Never happened. 
and um what happened in this one you know we i was just, amped i know I we was, were excited I was, we were, and i was away well, you were way excited out there um this I, was boring. There were some good parts, but it was a bit tedious and a bit boring in the middle. Don't know why the reviews were so good. You know, the characters are funny and... and yeah, but so what? It was McLovin. boring. McLovin. McLovin's in it. I did lean forward and go, McLovin, right? It was just yeah. boring. It just got a little tedious. Um, I, I, I'd I take a little kid that I knew, I think. Yeah. Know? Well, it might be a little scary for little kids. There was. It, it a couple could be. parts were. So, all in all, I thought it was decent. I gave it a C plus. I gave it a D. D. She got bored. All in all, I think we both agree that it, it was visually cool, cool, but tedious and boring. Totally. Totes. Totes. And... I would kind of give it a sideways. All right. Oh. Oh. oh, oh. Balls. Well, that's... Shit. You should.